Hello. I'd like to thank you for taking a few moments to open this video. And my hope is to provide some ideas, some structure to support you in finding your way to really living your best life, a life that has joy in it, happiness, health, emotional peace. Uh, my name is Germana Robinelli, and I have been in the health and wellness industry for well over 30 years. And um, I know that many people that I'm connected to, I listen to the words they say and I listen to what they share with me and I'm aware of the stress and the emotional storm and the disappointments and all of these things. And we do need a place to unload that. We do need a place to be honest. What it also sort of tells me is sometimes um, not knowing how to navigate our own uh, our own inner world, the world behind our eyes, creates tremendous grief. Um, I was taught years and years ago by my mentor, Fatah Taylor, to pray and meditate every single day if I really wanted to help people, that I must do my own inner work. And he was very clear about the world behind our eyes is more powerful and more real than the world outside of our physical body. And uh, he just said, if you really want to do what I had asked him for help with, and this is the beginning. And 30 some odd years later, I'm back um, saying, you know, he was right. And now I'm starting to teach some meditation courses in, uh, in small groups and some online to help people to quieten that busy mind that doesn't ever really stop. Um, one of the key pieces is to, you know, learn to quieten our our relationship with the outside world. Just become quiet, you know, light a candle, take a few deep breaths, um, listen to the breath, let the body become quiet. And then what you'll often notice or observe is there's a voice that starts talking and it might say, oh, you need to pay the taxes, um, you know, you need to get your hair cut, uh, you need to clean the kitchen, you need to do this, do that. And what the strategy is at this particular square is just to notice that there's this voice that doesn't stop. And that to notice that there's a part of us that's watching the voice, we'll call it the mind's eye or the soul or the spirit, that's watching the voice to notice that the voice isn't us, it's just this part of the mind that carries on he calls it your inner roommate or the narrator that just never stops talking. And in this type of therapeutic strategy to create peace and uh, to stop wasting our life chasing unicorns or monkeys or whatever, the process is to learn to be a witness and notice that the voice will say these things. And often what, if you take time to actually do the work, you'll notice that your voice may create a crisis out of nothing. So you have something to do and it might be, you know, self-attacking language. Um, oh, you're fat, you're ugly, you're this, you're that. And then you might decide, oh, I'm not fat or I'm too old or it's too late. Or I must then exercise a whole bunch and diet really hard. And it just creates this turbulence, this crisis, this chaos that keeps us out of our um, peace, that keeps us running, looking for another therapist or another band-aid or something when in reality when we actually turn it around and come back and then start to take responsibility for our relationship with ourself our emotional self um, once we do that then we have the true power to live a good life without having that there is no hope because the mind is never happy it just creates more problems more crises um, and so you know I've started doing some mini groups and they're lovely. And what I get back when I hear some of the feedback is, you know, I'm happier, I'm calmer. I uh, I didn't realize that my life could be this much better. And so that really inspires me because it gives you the human tools to connect with that deep wisdom that is it within. And yet it doesn't come from this, this thing here that's constantly going. It comes from dropping in and then noticing, you know, oh, there's thoughts, there's feelings, but notice that the feelings are often linked to old grief that we have buried, that our mind has been so good 
at distracting us so we don't have to deal with the grief, often because we don't know how. And some of it can't really be done in a 55 minute session. Someone needs to sit with you to help you breathe into your body, to let the emotion that's locked into your body leave your body so you stop trying to outrun it. And um, I just really want to encourage you that if you're suffering and you want support to stop hurting or to stop going in circles, some people, when they're stressed, their mind will say, just buy this, you'll feel better. Go to Amazon, do this, you know, get another pedicure, another manicure, get some plastic surgery. I mean, it never stops. Buy another car, whatever. And then there's this whole other outpouring of crisis because now there's all of this debt and stuff that people don't actually enjoy. I mean, you can only buy so much stuff. After that, you're like, okay, I've got enough stuff. Stuff doesn't make us happy. Feeling safe in our skin makes us happy. And what I'm suggesting is like, if you want some help, you're welcome to reach out to me. And if you don't, that's okay. There's lots of teachers, but learn how to clock at least 15 minutes a day, first thing in the morning with yourself. Do some breath work. Do some connecting so your body feels safe, your body feels nourished, and then you're not in a reactive relationship with yourself or an attacking rela relationship with yourself and the world. You're in a harmonious relationship that says, hey, my body's tired, I'm gonna take a nap. You know, I'm gonna cook some food, I'm just gonna let myself be a human being versus a human doing. Most of us believe that our value comes from achieving, creating, and all of that. And that should obviously come from joy, not from if I do this, I'm okay. Message line. Three things to look for if you notice that your mind um, tries to distract you by worrying, by planning, or by fixing. That's when your ego mind is taking you for a ride. And that ride doesn't end well because it's never going to be happy. So I invite you, if you have questions or if you'd like a little bit of information how to do some therapeutic mind-body work, I am gonna do um, some daytime meditation courses and you can do it via Zoom if you like or you're welcome to you know, join me in my, in my living space. I find that this work, you know, it's the work of our soul, it's the work of having a wonderful life where you don't feel worn out anymore because you're actually connecting with your body, letting go of baggage that doesn't serve you and really being in, you know, what some schools call your higher self, your heart center, or your right mind. There's a part of us that is infinite. And when we connect with that, we're happy. It doesn't come from a credit card or a bill or complaining about something you can't change. So I hope that you've got a little bit of inspiration here and I hope to you know, be inspired to share more things. I just know that I love to see people happy. It hurts me when I see people hurting. And if they're doing something that's not working, I'm like, try something different. Try something different. It ought to make a change pretty rapidly if you're doing something. So I'm gonna sign out from Nanaimo, BC, Vancouver Island in the summer of 2023. Thank you.